Checking on Money Matters, Disney's new streaming service is officially unveiled. And some Florida Walmarts are getting a tech upgrade. Mm, Jay, uh, Bobby Rebell joins us live uh, from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Hey, good morning to you, Bobby. Happy Friday good to morning, you. Good morning, Jen. Yes, to so, you too. So Florida Walmart shoppers will soon see some changes, it sounds like, in stores. Yeah, renovation time. Florida Walmart stores are going to undergo... $173 million worth of renovations. Those changes are going to include several tech upgrades, such as autonomous shelf scanning machines for 32 stores and 36 pickup towers, which are vending machines that can fill customer orders in store. Pretty cool stuff. So you talk to Alexa and you think she's listening. Well, she is, but not in the way you expect it. I know, I know. This is a tricky story. Thousands of full-time workers and contractors in several countries, including the United States, Costa Rica, Romania, they are listening to as many as a thousand audio clips from Alexa devices. And Amazon actually confirmed this to Bloomberg, saying that it hires people to listen to what customers say to Alexa. But Amazon is kind of defending the practice, saying that it takes, quote, security and privacy of our customers' personal information seriously. I don't know how people feel about it, though. Well, I have one at home right there in the living room, and I feel like I need to unplug it now, you know, and only when I need it, plug it back in. Wow. All right. So, Bobby, yeah. as yeah. we know, in fact, we've seen the commercials. Many, uh, you know, uh, Americans through the years have, have basically cut their cable bills because they're so high, of course, and, and, and turned off the service. Uh, but their savings, uh, apparently, they're shrinking? Well, exactly. So they cut their services because they were so high and the alternatives were so low, but now those alternatives are kind of creeping up higher. For example, according to the Wall Street Journal, YouTube TV is raising its, month, its monthly rate to $50. T-Mobile, another example, they say they're going to start selling a $100 a month home TV service. It is going to have, though, 275 available channels, but it's still moving away from what people thought they were going to. The average home, by the way, spent $107 a month on paid TV services in 2018. That, according to a like to survey. Oh, yeah. And now there's another option from Disney this go round. Yep. Exactly. I mean, these all add up, but this seems pretty reasonable. Disney Plus will launch on November 12th. It's going to be $6.99 a month or $69.99 a year. The company says it's going to be available to stream through smart TVs, web browsers, on tablets, mobile devices, and game consoles. It's going to feature content. This is good stuff from Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, and National Geographic. Hmm. Yeah, the price sounds good know. now. 69 sounds good. Yeah, yeah, but is that a teaser rate? Does it go up, you know, six months a year when all of a sudden they establish? Yeah. Always seems to happen. Don't get us we'll all see. in, though. All right, thanks, Bobby. Have a great weekend.